Well, howdy, folks. We got ourselves a treat for today, and it just immediately pauses. Uh, just kind of the theme for the whole thing I think we're going to go with. Yeah, NA scrim. I won't be muting the chat, so enjoy all that. Uh, just so uh, I'm casting and producing, and for a second I was almost playing. So uh, enjoy. Uh, and chat, if you want to let me know, do I have the teams right up top? Because I honestly forget who's on which. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm a uh I'm the Swiss Army knife of uh Overwatch uh casters or whatever. Alright, cool, thanks Chan. Appreciate it. And Gamathot is going to club after this. I'm not sure what club is, but looks like we're gonna get going soon. Oh, Beast is back in the game. Got some R's all around. And here we go. Scuffed casting. Back at it. Ready for battle. As we move in here on Lijiang Night Market. Some big F's in chat for uh, Beast's uh, computer. I believe he had to... Uh, restore his windows he got that big fat old blue screen of death you hate to see that happens to the best of us though Five, four, three, two, one. as we watch bumblebees Round coming one. out here in their Action. spawn uh looks like we're getting a weird augmented death ball almost goats kind of setup maybe they just want to uh be the one trick goats team as uh, Oof Troop has already made it straight to point and they've dug in with the uh, very common Orisa composition you see here. And uh, the uh, Reaper Doomfist DPS combo is doing work here. Sigma and Orisa just providing so much cover for them and they're almost completely uncontested here on the point. And we see... Uh, Hamish is already 70% to that Doomfist ultimate. Captain Fletch at 65 as well to Sigmas. Uh, this could be a uh, this could be a pretty interesting hold here as Hamish is going to get an early unseen on stream kill on the Gamathot. And uh, you know what? We'll follow Hamish around for a little while as he does have the ultimate. It'll be fun to see how he uses it here as he is on. Not Oof Troop, but other team. Ooh, and a very well-timed <laughs> Wraith form. Keeping Desi alive. Oh, and Gamathot's out into the Bastion. But it's not going to be enough as he gets focused down by Schmidt and Hamich here. And we're going to see the Meteor Strike come out. Drop down immediately. It's going to get bred. Bring Babkit down very low. Babkit's going to get forced off of the high ground, and that'll be all they wrote. Uh, the skill kill is going to be able to uh, finally get the kill onto Hamish, but the damage is already done. As Bumblebees are uh, basically regrouping here. Oof Troop is getting some free kills, free ult charge. Although Captain Flesh uh, getting the kill on himself. You hate to see that. And the uh, main heal is down for Oof Troop. We're going to see Edgelord... Uh, Death Blossom on in is going to get the kill on the bread. Babkit is going to absorb a lot of that damage, turn it into shields. Going to be doing pretty uh, pretty alright right now. However, Gamathot's going to charge in. Just get focused down by everybody. Reynolds finally getting the last kill. Although we're going to see two kills come out on the side of the Bumblebees. You see Captain Fletch ult not getting much, rising everyone up into the air. Kill before they hit the ground. And it uh, looks like we may see a 100% uh, to zero here for Oof Troop. Unless the Bumblebees are able to uh, pull it together and get back very quickly. Skokill is most likely going to have to be the one to touch here. As he's going to zoom into point, drop in from the high ground. Get focused down by Schmidt and Edgelord. We're going to see a Death Blossom come in. It's going to get booped out by just about everyone. No one wanted anything to do with that ultimate. Desi's going to Wraith Form back in. Get killed immediately by Edgelord. Picks up the double kill. Gamathot running low, drops the Edgelord as well. Babkit getting focused down. He'll steal the kill for this time. 
We see uh, Meteor Strike come in for Haymitch. Not really needed as he uh, punches in, gets the kill on Bread. Meteor Strike now out on the side for Skokilla. However, he won't hit the ground in time with his ultimate, and that is going to be 100 to 0 for Uftru. As we move on to. Uh, look at Carpe dropping in that tier 1 8 months. Uh, big poggers indeed. Uh, yeah, here I am on a Thursday night, 10 viewers, and we're right back to lobby for some reason. <laughs> And you know what? We're showing this whole thing, folks. I'm not going to an intermission screen. You're going to get to see what I see. And uh, I guess that wasn't even anything, so I won't change the map score. And I can't even type. Enjoy my typos on stream. Uh, nobody was R. <laughs> That's a uh, extra big oof. And an extra player coming in one second. Alright, that was one second. Um, I guess maybe we'll give Ike and Vald the golden hammer for the time being. And uh, shout out to uh, any of... Uh, Let's see, do we have any in chat? I do see Evil Laser in there. Any of the uh, Attack Torb folks, I spammed their uh, Discord channel, letting them know that I'm casting this. And uh, shout out to any of uh, y'all coming over to uh, enjoy the fun. Uh, if you want to cast with me for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Uh, feel free to uh, message me and I'll jump into whatever voice chat. Uh, it doesn't matter how scuffed. Both bot, uh, the bot already added everyone. Word. That's a good point. I forgot that that does that. It's a pretty fancy bot. It also bans people, as we found out. So uh, don't anger the robot. However, uh, the bot does not announce that the casting is scuffed. Uh, that's something we need to work on. To be able to differentiate between casting quality. Goat 6.0. Oh, we got some R's in chat. We got a shout out from Matsu to Oof Troop. And a little smiley face. And a heart. And that face with the three in it. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Some furry shit, maybe. I don't know. Uh, notice me, E Girl. Oh boy. Uh, feel free to everyone block Captain Fletch over that one. Uh, no hard feelings. Oh yeah, pin those clips. Pin them up there. Uh, I did get to meet Captain Fletch at the uh, Overwatch Grand Final in Philly. And uh, you know what? Spam that catch up to keep Captain Fletch up. Actually, I got to meet a pretty solid amount of Oof Troop. They uh, strolled on over to our tailgate in the uh, middle of the road in the parking lot next to Wells Fargo around the back by 95. And uh, we are R, and we are rolling into Eichenwald, which means I need to move the Golden Hammer out of the way again. Sit it right there. Initiating match. And we will zoom on over. Oh, and that ketchup is getting spammed hard. Nigavara is having so much fun with it. You know, spam it a little more. I don't think there's a spam blocker in this uh, Twitch, so. He's going to need all the ketchup you can get. On my Twitch, it doesn't even look like ketchup. It looks like a can. I'm not even sure what emote that's supposed to be. And what we'll be seeing uh, a bit of an uncommon DPS duo out here on the side of Oof Troop. Right now we're looking at Symmetra and Farah with Heal Salute bringing up the Mercy half of the Far Mercy. Uh, I'd certainly enjoy to see it. Uh, it would certainly wreak havoc on Skokilla's Junkrat and Beast's May. 
Uh, they don't really have too much outside of a uh, well-aimed uh, Icicle or Batiste to deal with the uh, Farah. That would actually be a solid pick on the point A here on Icon. As Desi pops up with the moon boots, we see a little bit of Junkrat spam. And we are going to see the Far Mercy Symmetricom, which again could just wreak absolute havoc on the defense we have here on the side of the Bumblebees. Edgelord is already able to get a kill on a Skokilla who was pushed up trying to get a little early spam damage to build up that old charge. And it's going to be all for naught. As Oof Troop already teleports onto the backside of point. And uh, Captain Fletch gets frozen, but it looks like they kind of have the advantage here. And they're just doing some cleanup. Elfin's going to fall to the Far Mercy duo. Desi as well. That is no supports on the side of the Bumblebees. And Go Again already has the barrage. Does die to Beast, but the damage is already done. We're going to see Beast try and come to contest point. Captain Fletch will throw a rock in his face. And that's going to be point A here on Eichenwald for Oof Troop. Hashtag Hamish for go again. Uh, is he like drinking and passing out? I'm not sure what we're supposed to think for Hamish. I mean, like he doesn't really do too much useful in the Hunger Games besides get hammered and passed out. Uh, Psycho letting us know that Beast is Epic Gamer. Uh, he's definitely got the Epic Potato PC. Glad he's uh, able to make it in the game. And you know, we'll follow Beast along a little bit. As he tries to get the hatchet on edge, uh, hacking on Edgelord, and he does get it. Spam down low, seven health, Telly's out, and is gonna drop down onto the mega. Leaves it there for later. Rotates back out. Oh, and it looks like he's gonna go for a little. Oh no. Oh, we might have a beast DC coming in here, folks. Oh, that's gonna be unluckers. Uh, and we'll follow along. Uh, and there goes Beast, and I imagine we'll have a pause in a second, as it looks like the team fight is basically over here. So far, we're continuing along. Edgelord just set up shop on payload, and there we are with the pause. Beast computer imploded. Uh, again, I will attempt to uh, cast and play in the match. Wish me luck, chat. Look at that big ol' F in there. Can we get some Fs going in the chat for uh, Beast's uh, PC? He uh, did have the uh, blue screen of death earlier uh, from his Skyrim mods, which, you know, happens to the best of us. You install those Skyrim mods in the next second you have like a whole botnet set up with your PC. What are you gonna do? As a uh, lady leaves the game as well, maybe to go uh, check on Beast, see what's going on. We'll, uh, we'll throw a big ask in the chat here. The finals were fun. I agree, it was a good time. Shaka put a hammer down on the Vancouver. That part was kind of unfortunate, but uh, Wells Fargo Center put on a good show with uh, Zed and uh, Questlove DJing in between maps. Oh, Beast is back. He just DC'd. He has joined the game. R's are all around. And Oof Troop will move on uh, with uh, one down automatically. Carpe was at the finals. Carpe Carpe or like Carpe of like Attack Torb notoriety. Carpe Fusion, hell yeah. Yeah, Poco was there too, I think. They were, uh, had that sweet box seat, right? And we see Edgelord's ultimate coming out here. Just spamming explosives. Getting two, three. Turn around, get the kill on Babkit maybe, and there it is. Set shot back up on the payload. I'd love to see uh, a little bit of the uh, shock strategy with Architect. Get the Bastion up onto the uh, onto the chandelier here. That was the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen happen on Lycanball, and I'll never forget it. 
Oh, does get hacked. They don't have the May wall to put him up there, so it's all for naught. Oh yeah, Surefor was helping Golden Boy uh, answer questions and stuff. It's good fun. As uh, we just see Edgelord here getting kind of free reign to just shoot at whatever he wants. Putting out major damage. Everyone's just kind of trying to like peek corners, can test cart when they can. And uh, gets a little help out from Elfin's Maywall. Uh, just looking after his uh, Bastion in red, I guess. And here we see the ultimate again out for Edgelord. Gamathot's going to charge in and die. Edgelord's going to get booped up into the air, get two kills out of it. It's just Skokilla and Elfin left alive on point. We see Skokilla, Elfin die, and that'll be uh, point C capture here on Eichenwald for Oof Troop. Man, Jeff was taking pictures with everybody. Uh, I saw that uh, Donnie uh, got a picture with Jeff. Uh, apparently Jeff was climbing over people to take pictures with folks that asked. I'm glad they had Jeff at the final this year. He wasn't at the last one, and uh, he was at home. I think they just have to have Jeff at every Overwatch League event. Honestly, he just adds so much to it. He deserves to be there. It's basically his fucking game to command. Like... He's more interesting than whoever the fuck the new commissioner is. New Nate Nanzer. I don't remember the guy's name. I think he talked for a little bit, but honestly, I was more interested in listening to what Jeff had to say. Oh, and Bab has been labeled a boomer. You hate to see that, folks. Ready for battle. Ooh, and right back at him. As we see a Far Mercy Bastion comp coming out for Oof Troop. Just going uh, all in on the full hold here. As we hear the creepy ass singing from Captain Fletch. Pin those clips. We'll follow along those toes as they flip their way up here on Lincoln Vault Point out. Look at them toes. Look at them. There they are. Just hanging out. Oh, they're straight hanging out. Look at that. Look at that. This rock seat. And uh, we do see uh, Beast coming out on the Farah. Oh, and Beast is going to get the immediate kill on the Gogain. Gogain's going to get rezzed. But I got to imagine he's going to be playing a bit more conservative after just getting shut down on the Farah. That was a statement kill for the Bumblebees. <laughs> we do see Edgelord getting a uh, quick kill on the Disco Killer. We're not going to see any res on that one as we see Babkit take a rock to the face from Captain Fletch. And a bit of rocket trade between Beast and Go Again. As we see Beast kind of sneaking around the outside here. Maybe looking for a cheeky rocket play. Fair on this map, you can basically just go wherever the hell you want. Edgelord has sighted him out. As we do see a bit of rocket spam, just trying to get a corner onto that Arisa shield. Not going to get it, though, as Go Again's going to put some pressure on him. We're going to see Sigma's uh, experimental barrier come out as well. Babkit will fall to Edgelord. As we see the rest of the Bumblebees kind of trying to attack up the stairs. It's not doing too much for them. As we zoom in on Edgelord here, he's going to get killed. He's going to get killed! By Beast. Beast is ever going to fall to go again and uncontested. He's going to ult and kill Elfin as well. Skokilla, however, cleaning up here in the back room. Reaper's kind of home territory. There's a health pack in there. All the fighting is close quarters. Although now we see the Reaper fighting close quarters against Afara, which isn't advisable. As we see the immortality field out for uh, Oof Troop. Kills on both sides, but it looks like the Bumblebees are making a little hedgeway. Edgelord is going to use his ultimate, come in, try and clean up, force him back to the attacker spawn. However, Skokill is just going to shut the door here on Oof Troop. And with the Death Blossom, that'll be a point A capture for the NFG Bumblebees. And uh, I agree, Reynolds, that was indeed nice. A solid ult. Absolutely cleaning up. Waited perfectly for uh, 
the immortality field to be on cooldown. And we see Edgelord switching over to McCree. Now to Widow. We'll follow uh, along with Captain Fletch here for a bit. Basic uh, double barrier spam going on here. Cap Flesh trying to get up in some faces. Not really getting too much. Gets drained by uh, Desi a little bit there. Ooh, that solid antenate on the Babkit's gonna force uh, force it to back off. Let's just see Schmidt trying to put in some damage. Schmidt will fall. However, from the back go, again, it's just going to ult on basically all of the Bumblebees. As uh, the team kill is narrowly avoided because Beast had died earlier in that fight. Uh, however, that fight is over with one press of the Q key. And uh, I would surmise that go again secured the play of the game with that kill. Yeah, put those sprays everywhere. You deserve it. We see Skokilla. Killer. Switch it over to the Widowmaker. Pardon my yawn. Carpe, I took a picture with you. <laughs> there were there were like ten other people in that picture, but technically, I took a picture with you. I was too busy spreading my meatballs around, don't blame me. Uh, folks that weren't there, I made some great meatballs. They were uh, beloved by all. As both teams are going to see each other real well with two Widow ults out. And it uh, looks like we're just going to get a quick... Oh! 1.43 meters to the point B capture for uh, the Bumblebees. And they're going to get it here. It was interesting meeting Moose Teal. <laughs> As we see the Bumblebees pushing up around the corner here, uh, their time bank will be lower than Oof Troop. However, uh, depending on how this fight goes, we'll see by how much. Uh, the card is basically uh, almost to the capture point, although we are going to see most of the kills coming out for the side of Oof Troop. He does have defender advantage here. Any kill is basically magnified at that point. Babkit just kind of getting low-key staggered a bit. Same with Elfin. So let's try and get a cheeky anti-nade in there, but uh, not going to get too much out of it. Is there a reason just the scale hanging out. As we see Edgelord hiding out on the other side of the same choke. <laughs> yeah, Bastion Comp is uh, pretty broken right now, Chan, I agree. As we hear Sigma just screaming his lungs out. I mean, the Bastion is basically what one shot the finals. Uh, the Titans just had no answer for it. And uh, they knew it was coming. They watched it happen. Uh, Shock had to play that extra match with the uh, loser uh, bracket. So like they knew they were gonna play Bastion. I don't know why they didn't prepare for it more, or maybe uh, Architect's Bastion is just that ridiculous that they just couldn't plan for it. They hadn't seen enough of it during the regular season. As we still have Beast kind of hanging out over here uh, by the choke, just waiting for his team to go in, maybe trying to catch somebody off guard. <laughs> Uh, however, he doesn't. He walks a little too far out into the choke. Doesn't turn right. Gogan gets a very easy kill on him. Architect on the chandelier was ridiculous. Like I'll never look at point C of Eichenwald the same again. The chandelier, just so much Overwatch history now. Look at it. 
I'm gonna actually, uh, you know what? If I can ever meet Shock, I'm gonna get a picture of this printed out and have Architect sign it. That's just how good that play was. Although I did win a, I did win a sign with uh, both of the team's uh, signatures on it, so that was kind of fun. Paul was on there twice. He had to sign with both color pens, which I guess whatever you gotta do, what you gotta do. As we are down to the very end of the clock here for the Bumblebees, and uh, will they be even be able to touch the payload to force overtime? And it doesn't look like it. And that'll be the first map here to Oof Troop. And I will change the score now before I forget about it. And uh, I feel like Go Again's definitely got the play of the game here. No, Edgelord steals it. <laughs> Holy shit, I could have sworn it was uh, the Barrage, but it's going to be a, uh, a Sigma comboed uh, Death Blossom as he just kind of cleans up some other kills as well. Um... I mean, the barrage definitely got a little more. Oh man, yeah, or at least like, yeah, do it in the bronze or like put like a bronze like shock logo up there or something. They need to do something with that chandelier. That chandelier is legendary now. It just, they literally, after he got on the chandelier, they were uncontested for the rest of the map. Oof, 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 says b -son. Shout him out. <laughs> Is Edge? Let's uh, take a real quick peek at Edge's career profile. Currently, he's got some diamond going on. We'll take a peek at 17. Oh, and he's down in plat. And 16 is diamond. 15 is plat, plat, plat. Plat, plat, diamond, diamond. Ooh. Master peak there. Diamond, plat, 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 gold. Silver all the way to plat. That's interesting. Oh, and here we are on the Hanamura. And the teams change sides, I think. Yeah, no, it's from uh, it's the free for all one, but uh, it's just a fun joke I was going for. Pretty sure the teams switch sides. I'm gonna switch them. Let me know if they didn't, cause that would be awkward. Hey, I'll pat myself on the back for that one. Can I get some uh, claps in chat for clapping my back? Ready for battle. I mean, I could just bring out my notes that I used for the entirety of this tournament, but those are in a desk drawer, like right in front of me. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. How am I going to reach for those? Like... As we see a bit of a similar comp here coming out for Oof Troop, we're going to see the uh, Bastion Symmetra combination. Five, four, Teleport three, the Bastion everywhere is the name of the game. The whole bunker. And we're going to see a uh, mirror coming out on the side of the Bumblebees. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. As we're just going to spam down both shields, the Telly's going to come up. They're just going to Telly straight to point. And we're going to see a fight through a slotted window as uh, Oof Troop Telly's on the point as well. And now it's just two bunkers shooting at each other on point A here of Hanamura. And uh, it looks like Oof, uh, Oof Troop will be edging out the Bumblebees a little bit. Reynolds will fall, but the damage is already done. Ding, ding, there's the team kill ringing. And uh, that was certainly an interesting first fight here on Hanamura. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Oh, she doesn't think so, folks. Yeah, that was a complete mirror fight on point A. You could have drawn a dotted line between it. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. like a rotation to the teleport here for the bumblebees and the fight is going to play out again sort of generally around point we're going to see the immortality field hidden around the side of the uh choke here which could prove to their advantage however schmidt and edgelord are just going to start piling on damage and uh we're going to see another team kill for the youth troop Um, is that interact key not bound some sort of bug I don't know about, folks? Uh, cause I for sure have it bound to F. I guess Edgelord might not have it bound. Yeah, that's weird, right, Chen? <laughs> Maybe it's just left over from that. That's a weird bug for sure on the spectator side. Nice. You see Edgeward kind of getting focused down a little bit. Captain Fletch is going to do some work. The Edgeward is able to teleport, so... We're down to the final minute here for the attack for Uftru on Hanamura. Uh, as this is an Attack Torb Tournament Series sanctioned event, this is the first of three maps. I didn't know if that's what they uh, agreed to at the start of it, but... So the Bumblebees have uh, opted for a dive comp to try and deal with Edgelord's Bastion, and unfortunately just with the flexibility from Symmetra's teleporter, he can teleport out of any real dive scenarios and just kind of basically split up the bumblebees to where uh, they're... Oh, huge sleep out from Desi. However, nothing to follow up on as Edgeward is just going to hide back on point. And we see the last attack here for the bumblebees. A lot of spam out here, and it looks like that'll be all she wrote for Earth Troop's attack. And by Earth Troop, I mean the Bumblebees. Score. Zero. Zero. Switching side. Round good. Initiating match. Ah, uh, Beast broke his keyboard now. Uh, I guess it could be. I have a Steel Series mouse, so that's not too. It's not uncommon, but it's definitely like not like a Logitech or something. I took all my keys off. <laughs> Play with your feet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, why haven't we seen a uh, stream of a Sigma main playing with their toes? It would ma only make sense, right? I mean, it's the off season; they have time to figure it out. Can we get like a Choyobin feet only stream? I feel like some weirdo would be into that, right? Chain, get him on the line. Let him know what we want. <laughs> feet gang. Proud feet. Oh, hey, that's like a Hobbit family. Totally unintentional joke there. We 
see the attack here coming out for Root Troop. And we're going to see the Bastion uh, Sim comp again. However, uh, Edgelord and uh, Go Again will be switching roles. One for attack, one for defense. That's fair. We're going to see Captain Fletch die early. However, the rest of Root Troop has teleported on the, onto the high ground here. And they have a huge advantage as Edgelord is already... Uh, Oh, we'll get focused out. They were at max uh, beam. Go again. We'll get a kill. Schmidt will die on point. And that'll be all she wrote for the first push for Oof Troop. Earth Shatter out for Gamathot. Immortality Field is down on the side of the Bumblebees. Huge Shatter though. Gets three of Oop Troop. Looks like he's just going to focus down Captain Fletch. Put a little hurt on the Reynolds. Goes for the charge. Gets no one. Does boop a few around. Team names were not switched up, uh, but that will, however, be the win for Oof Troop. And we will update the score accordingly. And uh, we're moving into a final map scenario here for Oof Troop. Uh, maybe uh, Interact is on a mouse button, says Edgelord. There we go. Thanks for the heads up. We appreciate it. This isn't a scrim. Yeah, I thought it was a match. Isn't this uh, first to three? If y'all want to do four, that's fine. Just let me know. Whatever floats your boat. If you want to do it Overwatch League regular season style. <laughs> TE does too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, why not uh, CS Office? Come on. High Tower. <laughs> Donkey. Good, 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 good. Just get every meme in there you can. As Captain Fletch's confirmed Shrek. And we wait on the map pick. I think this should go to uh, Rialto. I just love casting Rialto. It's a pretty map. Same with Paris. Same with Havana, for that matter. The music's fantastic. Azeroth. <laughs> Meme locations dropped in. And off to Blizzworld, which technically does have that there, so there you go. I'm good with Blizzworld. Leroy Jenkins. Do they have a uh, tribute to Leroy Jenkins anywhere in Blizz World? If they don't, they really should. Would only uh, make sense.
uh, sticking with that Eve Troop theme. Oh man, how are you gonna switch teams on me last second like that? Change the freaking scores around now. <laughs> Absolutely killing me. It's like they don't know I'm doing everything right now. I haven't seen a Leroy Jenkins tribute yet. There is a Pulp Fiction tribute though. Ready for battle. over to the bumblebees here on blizzard road nice little setup here it's uh desi's just kind of shooting the wall and stuff yeah you let that wall know who's boss we believe the wave there's the wave we're gonna see a little doomfist mccree this edgelord is sneaking around here all invisible like Dude, does get the hack off on the Sko kill and up where Sko kill is able to bail backwards the point and get topped off by the team. Reynolds is gonna get punched out. It's gonna have a neutral fight going on here. Sko kill using their punches not for damage but kind of just to uh, push the dive comp of uh, Oof Troop back uh, back to where they belong. Captain Fletch is gonna get slept, spammed down, and killed by Skokilla. We are gonna see Elton's coalescence come out immediately, get two kills. Gilbagain is able to drop one support though for the Bumblebees, and that is gonna take Desi a while to get back. Those little grandma legs don't run too fast. Not too fast at all. Sneaking out around back. Very close to their EMP. I knew now Edgelord dropped pretty low. Teleports out back to spawn. Beast is going to get a two kill with the high noon. You're going to see Edgelord maybe take a second for the bees relaxing to kind of slide back into a hiding spot. Get into position to use that EMP. Careful you don't get touched there. And he waits. Oh, and it's gonna be big. Oh. Uh oh. Desi knows they're there. Will they call it out? Will it be too late? Here it comes. Huge EMP. Gets four. Meteor Strike's gonna be out. Earth Shatter as well to counter. However, it looks like the kills are coming up for Oof Troop. As I said, that Gamma Thought equalizes. Go again is uh, antenated. Gets punched by Sko Killer. Go again is able to get the kill on the Desi as well. A huge charge out of Gamma Thought gets Go again. Schmidt drops him after that. Schmidt picks up a second kill out of Sko Killer, and that'll be point A for the Oof Troop. Oh, 
Elton contesting last second. And that's all she wrote. Kill it, getting a kill out of the meteor strike, kind of surprising. Kind of pitting off back behind his team, does kind of escape off over the wall here onto this little platform. Meteor High Noon uh, get canceled by Go Again, just gonna kill Beast. You can't check your watch when you're dead. Oh man, and a well timed bubble by Babkit to keep uh, Desi alive. Go Kill is gonna get hacked. We'll be able to bounce back to his team to get topped off. Go Kill getting the kill on to go again. Desi putting some hurt into Captain Fletch. I don't know how the cart does still move. It looks like the Bumblebees may be getting an upper hand here as Gamma Thought gets out a huge shatter. Does get three out of it. It's gonna force Schmidt to retreat. Reynolds may not be able to make it out. However, go again does kill Go Killer. In the process of putting damage onto Reynolds. And uh, Oof Troop has kind of worked themselves into a uh, 6v5 situation here. If they can push on it fast enough. Again, another good bubble by Babkin. Keep everybody alive throughout the uh, Meteor Strike. However, right after Gamma Thought and Desi do die. And we see Meteor Strike out now for Skokilla. And you have to be as well, gets two. Coalescence out for Elephant. And it looks like they may just be allowing the point B capture here. And they do contest at the very last second, 0.19 meters to go. Beast is gonna die, get revived. The kills are just gonna come right back up again for Oop Troop. As I say that, Gamma Thought putting in some work with Beast. Oh no, and a bit of a C9 afraid of the Meteor Strike. And that'll be point B for the Oop Troop. You hate to see that. The Bumblebees were just getting the upper hand into defending this last bit of the point here. They would have had a huge defender advantage. And unfortunately, it's not how the cookie crumbles. Get that Cloud Nine in there. Get that Shang Nine in there. I want to see all of them. I mean, I guess you can't really call it a C9 when they're forced off of the payload by an ultimate, but what are you going to do? Letter and other. As we see the Bumblebees forcing the Troop back, a huge shatter out for Gamma Thought. Holy shit. This is why we voted for you for All Stars, just the huge shatters. Absolutely massive. You deserve that emote, sir. You clip this, you enjoy it, you cherish it. Get it tattooed on you somewhere. That was a fat fucking shatter. Oh, and Lady Redbox showing up with a raiding party of two. How you doing, Lady? Assuming you were one of the two. I don't know. See, he's getting a kill on the heel sleep. However, quickly focused on by Go Again, switch over to the Widowmaker. Bit of damage put down as uh, the Bumblebees do extend a little bit far forwards as they're going to give up a huge amount of space to Oof Troop. Captain Fletch is going to try and shatter the spawn, doesn't really get anyone. However, he will be up there with the Immortality Field, just swinging his hardest out. Charges in again. Widow Walls, Meteor Strike, Earth Shatters, Punches, Galore. Matsu is just hard supporting for the Oof Troop. We got any B supporters in the chat? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Ten seconds. As we 
Fighter down into the final fight here. Oh no! <laughs> and Oof Troop won't be able to get to the payload. And that'll be as far as it's gonna go here. Yeah, if we're gonna call that uh, first one a C9, we're for sure gonna call this one a C9. The big ol' Shang 9. Oh no, they weren't paying attention to the clock. You hate to see that. <laughs> Beast has the music off. The musical cues help a lot. Bad cuz bad? Yeah, maybe. Some giggling from Matsu in the chat. Looks like we may be seeing the Ana again from the Bumblebees. Attackers Seems to be a uh, favorite pick for Desi. I don't mind. I'm a bit of an Ana main myself. I definitely have the large majority of my time on Ana. She's just the fun hero to play. The kid's a lot of has a lot of utility. A sleep dart, obviously being massive, you can win entire fights with an anti nade. It's like an ultimate, but on an E. <laughs> It's like an eight second cooldown as well. Oh, and Beast getting a very quick Reddit shot out onto Heel Sleep. <laughs> and go again, performing a bit of tactical crouch on uh, to what was a very unfortunate uh, early pick for the Bumblebees. And this could be the uh, grip they need. I mean, they're down to support. A lot of this damage is going to stick. Unfortunately, we're going to see Gamma Thought get spammed down. As he didn't really have much support as he rolled in and drew attention on the payload, that would have been the time to push forward. Yeah, I agree, Chan. Uh, they're looking pretty close, uh, being a division apart. Maybe we should see the Bumblebees move up a division for the next tournament. They would certainly play well there. As we see, Gamathot gets stunned with a rock to the face, trying to go for the charge, gets nothing. Tries to charge in again. Schmidt used Fortify and gets stopped again. As we see kills now coming out on the side of the Bumblebees. Schmidt is going to get res by Heal Sloot. However, it's just going to feed a bit more ultimate. Go again and Heal Sloot are all that's really left. For Oof Troop. Heal Sloot is just left on the high ground, just kind of hanging out there. If I were Heal Sloot, I'd go kill myself. Uh, no, just hanging out, having fun. Flying in, staying alive. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I agree. I think Bumblebees would do pretty well in uh, the Division 1 from this year. This is Go Killer's Meteor Strike coming out. I have no idea where it went. Did he try and Meteor Strike Kapara? Because that is a baller play for sure. As we see, uh, Pseudo Augmented Goats for uh, the Bumblebees working pretty well with Gamathon on the, uh, on the Reinhardt. We see a bit of a uh, turnaround here for the Bumblebees. Honestly, I forgot what Sigma's ult is called, but uh, I assume somebody will help me out and chat with that. I just haven't played with them enough. My uh, competitive team is taking a break at the moment, so I haven't really played too much in this meta. I've only really casted it, to be honest, as we see a big free kill for Go again. Reynolds is going to get revived again. Gravitic Flux, thank you, Chan, and Matsu. Shirt call is Flux. Cool. Yeah, Gravitic is kind of a weird word to say. I appreciate it. As we 
CCB's getting another pick. This time on to go again. And uh, there will be no res follow up as it was used previously in the fight. Either that or heal sleep just can't get there close enough. We are going to see a huge flank shatter out of Gamma Thought as the immortality field comes down. Edgelord losing the Widow to a beast. We see Go Gain having switched from the uh, far to the Doomfist. And right now, all the kills are coming up in favor of the Bumblebees. Go again is going to get a, uh, a punch kill on the Elfin. However, he's just going to get focused down by basically all the Bumblebees. Kill suit is going to get punched away. Hammond is going to slam in from Captain Fletch. Spin to win. Hook to the point. Contest as long as he can. Rolls away as Schmidt comes in. Killed. Captain Fletch is going to get antenated. And the card is going to roll in for the point B capture for the Bumblebees. Who taught you to fight like that? Anime. <laughs> Overwatch is not an anime, so yeah, we can never have that meta. Just ask Monty and his turtleneck. As so we hear a little bit of the Blizzard music in the background, as Desi just kind of slowly moves this cart with the uh, crown in it. Along to point C here. As we see Beast getting another huge pick on the Edgelord this time. Uh, Beast's, uh, Beast's random headshot picks have just kind of been the name of each team fight that have been won by the Bumblebees. As we see a kill out of Skokilla as well. Elfin's gonna kill Go again. Captain Fletch, however, will be throwing rocks. We see Flux out for Babkit. Nano, Earth Shatter, it's all coming out. Everybody hit Q. Gamma thought gets slept. I want to see more Qs. Elfin, I see that you have one left. Don't let death be the reason you don't use it. See, Heal Suit knows what's up. They're using their ultimate. However, the payload is so close. It's going to roll in. Finally get contested by Captain Fletch. They're going to kill him. Will go again even be able to get there? No! And that'll be a map for the Bumblebees. Much excitement. Folks, we have ourselves a match here between the Div 1 and Div 2 champions. Holy shit. Uh, maybe, uh, can we get some buzz in the chat for a reverse sweep? Both teams are playing very well, but the Bumblebees for sure are stepping up. I think we're off to a King of the Hill map. Uh oh, people getting banned in there. Gotta watch out, that bot's coming for you. He knows where you live. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe this is like uh, an SAO season two plot, who knows? And they want to go back to Li Shang. <laughs> Whatever. The only control map that matters, I guess. They want a rematch. Matsu wants some oofs in chat. However, the oofs will remain silent. How long has NFG been together? Uh, I don't quite know the answer to that, Chan, but I can assume a pretty decent amount of time. They have a pretty, uh, pretty put-together organization. And some awesome graphics. Oops, someone said BRB. And we wait some more. See, folks, this is all the fun you miss when I put in those stupid pesky intermission screens. Like, us, like, making fun of the chat... And uh, nobody being ready, even though everybody said they were ready already. Graphic flux. Yep, they use the uh, they use Sigma's ultimate to create awesome graphics. Gamma thought saying ready. Uh, bold throw out here. Your rape intermission. 
honestly, until the uh, until the questionnaire thing we did, uh, survey, that's a better word because it isn't fucking 1980 or whatever. Uh, I didn't know the songs were too loud, honestly. <laughs> Nobody told me at all. I didn't know it was straight ear rape. Uh, they will be quieter in the future. I'm glad it was a running joke I could keep feeding. And there was much rejoicing. Hashtag heel suit for Haymitch. Oof is R. Beast does not like Sigma. Now arriving at Lee Maybe he broke his computer on purpose so he wouldn't have to play Sigma. And we are back to Night Market where we began this whole, uh, whole event. Babka thinks he's okay. I don't mind his toes. I haven't really played him too much. I'm a uh, support main, and I dabble in DPS. Tank isn't really my thing. But I'm aware that he has some toes. Ten of them, I, I guess, I'd assume. Sigma does play Overwatch with his toes on the keyboard. That's why he's got those little uh, wraps around the middle, so we can rest it on the edge of the keyboard comfortably. Just a bit, bit of Sigma facts here for you guys. Doing what I can. Also, he like shoved a shoved a black hole in his face. Is that is that what happened? Is that canon? He like ate a black hole or something, or he's got like congestion from a black hole. I I don't, I don't know how like you could like combine yourself with a black hole. That's not really how science works at all. But like, well played. Round one, capture the objective. Nothing's gonna stop me. I passed this goal. We got a little fist on fist action. Sko Killer will win the uh, first throw down of this duel. Gamath I getting the kill on the Edgelord as well. And uh, we're seeing a warmed up, ready to fight Bumblebees as it looks like they're really taking the advantage in this first fight and they're gonna capture point A here on Night Market. Complete 180 from what we saw not even just like an hour ago. Ridiculous. Oh, and we're gonna see Reynolds boot Belton, however. The first foothold for Oof Troop. And they are up. No, they're even now with Edgelord dying. Go again is going to fall for Oof Troop. And honestly, oh, they do get the pick on the beast. We're even again. We are going to see both of the main tanks come back. Oh, and Gamathot's just not going to let Captain Flesh make it back to point. We're going to see Desi invest uh, Coalescence as well. bit of cleanup here for the bumblebees. Give me a root for your local heel sleep. Meteor nice. strike. Beast was having a feast. Uh, I don't know, insert monster mash lyrics here. Oh, beast just uh calling out gamma pot. Can't even call it a subtweet when they're in the same match chat with you. Beat is out, Nano's out. It looks like we're finally gonna see a point swap here for Oof Troop. 80% though, not a bad hold for the Bumblebees. And 
Let's see how long they can hold it for. Maybe I'll just play Monster Mash in the background. Chat, what song should I play in the background while I'm casting? <laughs> I don't think your mom is the bomb is the song. Meet your strike! Count Vegas is good at a huge shatter. Combo with the meteor strike. A little shatter drop from some heavy matter. As Hamage is blocking Skokilla, Edgelord finally putting the kill on the Everyone's letting everyone know that your mom is the bomb. Oh my god! <laughs> Huge high noon anti nade grab charge. Combo. I really hope that was play of the game. That was fucking ridiculous, and I really want to see Edgeworth's point of view for oh, it. Turn it up. He's certainly hyped about it. Did Dallas ever have a big McCree player? It's not like he's got the pine skins. And the clock slowly tick towards 100 to the troop. Will Snow Killer be able to make it on the point to contest? No, he will not, and that'll be round one to the youth troop. Here on Li Zhang Night Market. We're getting those GRs in chat. see a very uh, early uh, point capture here from the Uber. Looking to cap, uh, cap the map here, get that third map win, and uh, win this uh, series. Ooh, and Edgeord is going to focus down Beast. Going to get a solid stun on the Gamma Thought. Gamma Thought's at half health is going to get healed up a little bit. Beast is back, it's revived by Elfin. Beast, however, has already put the, uh, has the hurt put on him by Edgeord, who does finish the kill. And that's a team kill for the Youth Troop. Who, uh, definitely kind of got their groove back on, and they're really putting a show here on Li Zhang. I would assume a uh, favorite map for them. As we hear that Reinhardt is the ultimate crush machine. Uh, I agree, Edgeroid's popping off, that's why we're following along. This is some solid McCree play. As he's unfortunately looking at nothing. We're actually kind of missing a lot of what's going on because of him. <laughs> we will switch over to the main fight. As we see Haymitch having done a lot of damage. Off screen. Maybe he'll get play of the game and then we can watch that. Meanwhile, for the Bumblebees, they're just kind of looking to grab a foothold here. Maybe uh, Beast Widow can do it. It's uh, definitely gotten key kills for them before. 
and uh, we're already up to uh, basically 90% here for Oof Troop. And uh, this is for sure last fight territory for both uh, teams. And Oof Troop has two ultimates going into this. They have the High Noon, they have the Queen as well. Edgeworth is going to get a kill out of it. A huge shatter out for Gamify. It's just the name of his shatter game. He doesn't press Q unless he's getting at least five. However, we are seeing Edgelord pop off, and the kills slowly pour in for Oof Troop. Fabkit is going to get caught up in the grab. We're going to see Elfin get stunned and brought down. Skokill is going to come in, punch some things, slam a fist up in the air, die. And that's going to be game set and match for Oof Troop. And uh, we learned that uh, while they're both in separate divisions, uh, the Bumblebees can definitely uh, play up to uh, Oof Troop. Uh, they put on a really good show here. They do take a map away from it, which is uh, which is more than we can say for uh, Vancouver in the Grand Final. So Yao played Vancouver in this. And uh, this is actually a really fun one to cast. I appreciate y'all having me for it. And... Uh, Congrats to Oof Troop for winning uh, their final. Congrats to Bumblebees for winning their final. And uh, for both just playing in this uh, this bit of uh, exhibition here. And uh, I think I will be throwing uh, throwing the Golden Hammer to Edgelord. And uh, yep, no problem, Schmidt. Happy to scream, scream, and scream. There we go. Drop the hammer onto Edgelord so you can't even see him. I can't rotate it on here, but I can make it bigger. Hey. And with that, I wish everybody a good night. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, maybe we'll see you in the near future. Maybe we'll cast some pugs. Maybe we'll catch some more other stuff. Uh, yeah, no problem, Chen. Have a good night.